What's the agenda today? What are we going to talk about today? Right. First thing, I will walk you through about the course curriculum, how the entire course has been divided. What are you going to get out of all the courses? Then I'll give you a brief about, I'll give you a brief difference between UI and UX. Anyone of you who have done the pre-read, you might be you might be aware of this, but who haven't, the person who haven't done it, uh, for them it will be a new thing, right? So I'll talk about difference between UI and UX, and then I'll talk about what is UI design. You know, the entire course is about UI design, so we should understand what exactly is UI design, and then why is it important? Why UI design is important, right? So I'll talk about that as well. Number four, I'll talk about importance of user testing in UI design, right? Why should we do user testing in UI design? Right, that is very important. And number five, we'll talk about the importance of user conventions and mental models in UI design. All right, and then I'll open up this for questions and answers. Cool, so let's move forward. Number one, overview of the course curriculum, how the course has been divided. I might have shared you the list of, uh, uh, I mean, list of the topic which we are going to cover uh, in this entire course. And I will, I'm going to explain you what exactly all, all those topics are, right? So the entire course is divided into eight weeks, right? Week one, we'll talk about course introduction, which I am going right now. I'm, I'm doing it right now, right? I'm giving you a course introduction. And week two, we are going to talk about the building blocks of UI design. Now, the building blocks of UI design is so big that I have to divide it into two parts. Now, what exactly is building blocks? Um, when, we, when we say building blocks, I'm, I'm referring to the most important component of UI design. Uh, color theory, typeface, grid system, layout, right? All those things are building blocks, right? Which will help you to build up the entire UI. So those are the building blocks and they are divided into two parts. So first part, we'll talk about, I mean, six or seven uh, on the first part. And on the se second part, we'll talk about four, furthermore, seven, um, five or seven uh, building blocks. Okay, that, that is week three. And week four, we will talk about some must know principles uh, to create awesome user interface principles such as minimalistic rights principles like the simplicity all those things will be covered under week four uh, live session on week five we'll talk about what is exactly a ui design process look like and then what and what exactly a ui design research look like right and how is it really different from uh, ux design there is a small difference between these two uh, i mean the overall is ux design uh, a subset of UX design research is UI design research. Okay, cool. So week six, we'll talk about design system, which is very important. Um, please don't confuse this with UI kit. All right. So UI kit is an outcome of a design system. But what exactly is design system? Right. I mean, it is it is huge, and we're going to talk about that in depth on week six. On week seven. Uh, we'll we'll hands on with Figma. I'll I'll show you some. I'll create some screens, some some of the UI, and I'll show you how I do it. And then uh, I'll 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 also share some tips and tricks to to use while using the Figma. And on week eight, I'll give you some project to do, and then we'll conclude the course, and then I'll explain you what what next steps. All right. Furthermore, each course is divided into two lessons. Right. So lesson one is the pre-read. I believe you have done your pre-read of, of the UX, uh, basic of UX design video, which I have shared. I mean, the playlist, which I have shared. Um, if you could have, if you had done that, you at least know what exactly is UX design, right? It will help you, right? It will help you in this course. And then lesson two is live session, which you are doing right now. Okay, so move on. So what exactly is the difference between a UI and UX? It's very important to understand that, right? Because once you understand that, you understand, then you understand where exactly you fall into. Okay. So UI and UX are not two different things. They are not two different things. Okay. They're not even equal. UI and UI is equal to not UX. Okay. No, UX is equal to not UI. They are not even equal. This is how it is. Okay. So UX is a bigger picture and UI is one subset of it. Please. Please be clear with this. I have seen a lot of aspirant who really doesn't understand this. So user experience is the experience you are creating. And UI is a medium through you are creating those experiences. Okay, so it's a subset of UX, not just UI. There are other elements of UX, right? Information architecture is one of the element of UX. Research, 
IXD, right? These all are the components of UX and the entire picture is called UX. And hence, you should always call people by saying UX designer, okay? Cool, furthermore, to, to explain the complexity, I mean, to, to explain the entire universe of UX, there's a beautiful picture here. You know, we can see uh, the bigger picture, the bigger circle is the UX design. And underneath that, we have different, different subsets, like we have interaction design, we have visual design, we have content, we have information architecture, we have architecture, we have industrial design, we have sound design, everything, you know, all this thing combined together makes UX design. So basically every touch point, every touch point, uh, the user are interacting with, right? You have to improve the experience of it. And when you are improving the experience of it, that is where the ex user experience comes in. Okay. Cool. Let's move on. Now, what exactly is UI design? You, now we understand the difference between um, UX and UI, right? But what exactly it is and why it is important. Cool. So user interface or UI design, as I've told you, is a subset of a UX design, wherein the primary focus is on the look and feel of the design. The primary focus is on the look and feel of the design. How does it look and how does it feel to the user? Okay. And what are the building blocks of, of um, UI design? These are the building blocks of UI design, right? Color, typography, images, layout, icon, animation, copy, illustration, all this combined uh, makes, makes a subject of UX, UI design. Now let's try to understand, it, it's, it's very, very important to understand why it is important and why should we focus on the UI part of it, right? Uh, there, is, there is a, um, there is a system which has been given by Donald Norman. I, I believe you guys know Donald Norman. If you don't know Donald Norman, please go and check it out. He is, uh, I mean, he is the godfather of, the, uh, of UX design. I mean, he is the one who has coined the term UX design. Okay. And he wrote this beautiful book called The, the Design of Everything. You should go ahead and check it out. In one of, one of his, another book, which is known as Emotional Design, right? Wherein he, he explained uh, this three level of design. Okay, the first level is the visceral level, the first one, right? And then there is a behavioral level, and then there is a reflective level. So the first thing which which the user sees is the beauty of it, right? First, the beauty of it, then the user use it. I mean, how usable it is. User find the usability of it. And then they make a judgment whether that product or that services which they have opted for does that satisfy their needs or not okay so if you look at this the cycle the first thing which comes in the picture is the visibility is the look and feel of the product hence it is very important that you focus on the look and feel of the product the look and if the look and feel of the product is good i mean the look of the product is good the user will go to the next level which is a usability level all right if your ui doesn't looks good then your user will not go to the next level, which is a usability level, right? And the user will drop it from there itself. However, we have to make sure that to get the delight here in the center, you can see there's a delight factor. However, if we, ha if we have to get the delight, we need to check all three boxes, right? And start with the visceral part of it, which is the look and feel of the product. Hence, it is important. Hence, it is important that you focus on the UI part of it. Okay, I hope that that's clarify why it is important. Cool, we'll move on. Now we'll talk about the importance of user testing in UI design, right? Why does, why does uh, user testing is needed for a UI design? The first one is colors. For the most important component of UI design is the colors, right? However, colors are very subjective in nature. Someone will love the blue color. Some might, might not love it, right? I'll give an example on this. The color red denotes danger in almost um, every part of the world, except China. For China, the color red represent prosperity. They use that color uh, in their festivals, right? So color is very subjective. And hence, you should always do a user testing on the uses of the color. 
okay it's very important that you get a users understanding um, what exactly they understand about those, those particular colors okay next is not just color every aspect of design is subjective right and hence it is important that you do a thorough testing user testing whatever you create it you should be you should be testing it with the user okay not just color i mean when i when i saying not just color i mean typography the layout the structure of the uh, interface everything is subjective right somebody might like the everything in the center some might like on the everything on the uh, left some might like everything on the right it's very really subjective right and hence it is required that you sh you should do a thorough user testing with your target audience number 3 which is very important nowadays there is a trend that people goes to dribble in behance right to check out um, inspiration right and they find very latest trending components and navigations however 95 was a 95% of the time when i see those trendy glossy looking components or navigation doesn't doesn't really uh, are are usable all right so please make sure that whatever component level you are using whatever navigation you are using if you are breaking the convention you make sure that it gets tested with your with your uh, audience okay and last but not the least we make lot of assumptions we definitely as a designer we we learn by looking at lot of things we take inspirations from lot of um, things on this universe and then we assume that this is going to work right and because of that um there are a lot of design which gets failed so it's it, to to get away with those uh, assumptions and whatever assumption we make we should validate that with the with the user and get get it validated all right however there is a one stop solution for all this is by following user centric design if you follow user centric design in your ui design process you will be able to get rid of all these issues all right cool so let's move on number 5 the most important are user convention and mental models uh, this is very important as far as the entire design is concerned okay so what what exactly is user convention user conventions are are basically the habits of users and the habits are as such that you know whenever i go to a website the first thing which i'll do is i'll scroll down right that's a user convention there is a hamburger and when i click it i believe that it will open up the menu option that's user convention when i click on on a navigation where is an there there is an arrow right when i click that i believe that it will take me to another um, menu option sub menu option those are conventions right you have to really understand the conventions there there are designs which doesn't follow this and their design get get broken so it's very important that whenever you are designing you should always focus on the user conventions what is the convention look like if you are repeating if 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 you are uh, using the same component the entire world is using it is great because that that's usable that's a, that is with the user convention because the user really understand how to use those components right so it's very important that you always focus on the user convention and create your interface and the next is mental model how does the user perceive your application how does the user perceive the journey would be you know what are what what they think Uh, will be the interface or the navigations in in your application as i've told you that user follows whatever they have i mean whenever they come to your application or website they already have an experience of using the same kind of website or application in someone somewhere else so it's very important that whenever they come to any website to your website they understand that there is a mental model they they carry that mental model in your website as well so you should should not really break those mental model right these two are very important whenever you're designing so user convention whatever however user are using nowadays become an habitual to it use those kind of component do not break the user conventions and mental model however user think that your navigation would be your uh, entire journey of sign up or entire journey of login would be match that mental model okay 
when you make this two together then you have good design that's the definition of good design cool okay so move on so that's it for uh, today's session the most important part of today's session was to make you explain about what the course curriculum look like right from next week onwards it's going to be it's going to be huge because i'm going to talk about a lot about building blocks um, of ui design right the building blocks such as i've told you uh, color psychology uh, i mean typography i'll talk about grid system and a lot of other building blocks of ui design i mean practically we will we will be um, uh, understanding every aspects of a ui design so that is for next week thank you so much for joining us today and uh, i will open up this for q and a sessions mind it this is getting recorded however whoever has not attended the live session uh the q and a session will be removed in the in the record recording sessions i'm going to look at the q and a now and i'll answer all those question thank you so much